What's up everybody? Joseph Rothschild here, aka Mono Blue Tron, and we're back again with another episode of 10 Minute Testing. Um, something you should know about me is that I live in New York, and for the past week and a half in New York, we've been experiencing what I'm calling proof that global warming is real. It's been 115 degrees, this is no exaggeration, every single day for the past like nine days. So when I record these videos, I can't have the AC on because it screws up the audio. So, you know, if I sound a little delirious this episode, please forgive me, and you'll get to see that delirium in action when I take you in a deck edit. So this is a deck that really could only have been conceived under the influence of a staggering heat wave. Uh, it is not good by any means, but it is supposed to be playable. The point of this deck is to land Convulsions of Nature, a card that I've always really, really liked, but never really understood a way to get value out of. You play Convulsions of Nature with Archfiend's Oath uh, and Gishki Diviner to draw extra cards off the top of your deck. In a perfect world, he can draw something like three cards a turn. Then, because you can see both players' decks, we're also playing Spiral Super Agent and some of the Spiral stuff in order to, you know, try and find a home for these wacky cards. Then, because we can see the top card of our deck, we're also playing the true name to Slifer the Sky Dragon, and uh, that's that. The rest of the deck is basically ways to get these cards out. We have a Gen X controller in order to fund our Gen X Undyne. Uh, Gen X Undyne will get Gen X controller and send Atlantean Dragoons, putting Gishki Diviner in our hand. We have Summoner Monks to make rank 4 plays. Um, and this is just because the deck needed to be doing something at least a little powerful. We have a Deep Sea Diva. This card is insane in the deck, uh, although slightly better in Atlanteans. Uh, Quick Fix and Drone are interesting, but not particularly good because they eat up your normal summon. Uh, Super Asian is a great card, one of the best cards in the deck, and that's that. We put in Dualities because the deck kind of has a tough time sculpting draws or playable hands. I don't hate them. The problem is we can't do super agent things on the turn that we use Pot of Duality, but it's still probably fine. We play two Mind Crush because in a perfect world we know every card in our opponent's hand anyway because we've watched them draw it. And then we need ways to protect our Gishki Diviners, so we're playing, uh, what is this, Quaking Mirror Force. So let's jump into the games and see how the deck plays. Our first match is against Blackwing. Uh, he's playing some interesting cards, including Magic Cylinder. Our hand is completely useless. We don't have a whole lot of stuff in it. We can make a cool Summoner Monk play in a rank 4 or something, and that's probably about all we can do. We're going to send this Spiral Gear card off, just because the Spiral Gears are pretty useless in a world where we don't try and wear Spiral stuff. We make Utopia, thinking he can only, at most, get rid of one of the materials, and we can go into the Lightning if we need to, but he has a Magic Cylinder. Then he makes Gofu the Hazy Shadow. I figure this card is good in some capacity, but I don't think you know just play all the tokens is a pretty good reason i figure this is like protection for it which i guess i'm right i just start getting in with gishki diviner now like here's the problem with the deck in a world where you don't draw convulsion you still do have to use the gishki effect in order to find something that will get you convulsion uh so i'm just calling convulsion off of gishki diviner praying the other thing about Gishki Diviner is he doesn't discard the card when you call it, so you can play an Archfiend's Oath, which does discard the card, to get the card second in a pinch. So it's kind of like having Convulsion. So we draw one of the Mind Crushes. They're a lot worse when we don't know what our opponent is drawing, but our opponent's playing Blackwing, which means it's okay, uh, you would think. He plays Black Sonic, blows up his Vanity's Emptiness, but our entire board, which is pretty rough. We have a Drowning Mirror Force set in case he tries to do anything tricky. At this point, we're still just trying to get that Convulsion of Nature. Uh, we're normal summoning the Spiral Gear Drone. I just want it on the board, now I'm going to Quaking, probably no matter what. I Mind Crush his uh, Gale the Whirlwind after he adds it to his hand. Like, Mind Crush still is a good card sometimes when you can't see your opponent's hand. Once again, Colin Convulsion, praying nothing. Uh, so we draw another Archfiend's Oath, and there's the Convulsion. You just have to believe in the heart of the cards here. So now we're, we're kind of in business. We have two active Archfiend's Oaths of Convulsion of Nature. We draw a Gishki Diviner, so we can draw three cards this turn. Like, that's pretty sweet. So we call, you know, True Name, we call... Summoner Monk, we call Spiral Super Agent, and we can special summon Spiral Super Agent because we see Blizzard the Far North on his hand. We target what we know is Icarus Attack because I'd like to get all these cards off his board. 
then we can add uh, this spiral super agent back to our hand with drone, and then we're going to summon Slifer the Sky Dragon. He fiendish chains it, which prevents it from dying at the end of the turn, but it also has zero attack. I'm going to mind crush this blizzard the far north as soon as I see it in his hand. We're just waiting on this dead Slifer. This, this feels like an anime duel, right? Like someone engineers a way to get out the god card, and then like Merrick is like, you fool, Yugi, I had mind crushed the whole time. And then... We're just making Castell here. I mean, we've drawn like nine cards a turn. There's no way we don't win this turn, but I am convinced I have to win with Slifer in order to satisfy the 10-year-old Joseph on the inside of me. So we do that, and we kill him with a 3,000 Slifer. So that first game took forever, but this game uh, doesn't. We're playing against Magispector Metal Foes, an actually good deck. We've drawn Hot Nothing, which is par for the course. He's just setting scales and going to town, and he's got a million card set. We know one of them is Metal Foes Fusion, and I think we might know the counter too. We play Summoner Monk, and he just warnings it. I decide to just go for it on Super Agent. I call spell cards, and I get it and I get to destroy one of his scales, and then I'm just attacking things. Unfortunately, he has Metal Foes counter, so he gets to summon Volflame back. So we aren't even really in a good position. We play Archfiend's Oath, and we're like, okay, well, maybe we can just spike a Convulsions, but we don't, obviously. Uh, he is using Volflame's effect to get Fusion set. Then he destroys Super Agent, which is rough. He's got Cupidity as well, but he doesn't have a second scale, which is pretty good for us. We got Pot of Duality. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot. I figure my way out of this game is to make a giant Spiral Man with Drone, so I pick Drone off of Duality. I also have a Big Red, so we're kind of in business. He sets Scales again, summons five. I figure my only out to this big board is a nice Quaking Mirror Force. He's going to use Kieran to return Quick Fix, and then he's going to play a guy and just walk into this Quaking. What a, what a great card Quaking is. Unfortunately, you can fuse stuff that's face down, so now he has access to a monster slot again, which is rough. We have Big Red, so we're going to bring back uh, Super Gear, except he has Scolding, which prevents that from happening. The good news is he's now at 3,000 life, which is killable. We've stopped using Archfiend's Oath because I figure this turn I'm going to have to basically protect myself by taking a big hit of life, which is exactly what's going on. I do some quick calculations, and due to my uh, genius level IQ, I can figure out I'm going to live with 200 life points. My opponent is now just letting me win the game. They've got two cards in hand. I just got to get really, really absurdly lucky. I go for Big Red, get back Super Agent, use Super Agent's effect to destroy Volflame. Unfortunately, this Kieran goes off. I do still get to blow up Vol Volflame. So here's what happens here. I normal summon Drone. I figure it's exact lethal if I get the Super Agent back out. I'm like, I will change the contents of his deck in order to work the way I want. Then I will special summon Super Agent, use Drone's effect, attack Volflame for lethal. Because he gets 2,500 as a result of this. He's already at 1,900. That does 2,000 points of damage. Unfortunately, if your opponent has two cards in their deck, you cannot use Drone's effect. So I just have to go for it. I guess spell, and I'm wrong, and the replay ends. So we'll just pretend that I won that match. Uh, now we're up against, what is this? Uh oh, this is Shadow Sub Terrors, my favorite deck of all time. We've opened Convulsion plus Archfiend's Oath, which is okay, but the cards we're drawing are things like Slifer the Sky Dragon, which aren't very good, and we've drawn into both copies of Dragoons instead of being able to send them off to Viner. He gets to use Dragon's Effect in order to send this back to hand. Remember, this is a deck from several weeks ago. Uh, let me remind you it's not good. It is not a good deck at all. So he's going to get uh, Uma Strix, which is going to destroy Convulsions, which is pretty rough for me. And then he gets to flip this guy back down. We thankfully have a second Convulsions, so we get to keep drawing cards off Archfiend's Oath. That's okay, but not great. We're going to make Utopia the Lightning, who can get over Uma Strix without it activating its flip effect or anything like that. So now we're in an okay position, except he has shit all fusion, which is pretty good against me when I've made an Xyz monster. And he's just going off, sending a bunch of shit all stuff. Weirdly, he decides to use Nemesis Warrior to send Shekinaga in order to get Stalagmo. Then he's going to use Stalagmo to draw a bunch of cards, get Gloa Bulb off of Stalagmo. The mill off of <laughs> this card was Gloa Bulb and Falco, which is just about the best you could ever hope for. I'm staring down this completely nuts board. I know he has a core set. I figure my only way out of this is uh, a genius true name. I have to just win the true name off the bat. So I'm going to special summon all my friends, destroy Hidden City, and here we go. I call... 
Sandstorm Mirror Force because I know I have three, and there it is. So I get to get my Slifer of the Sky Dragon. I believed in the heart of the cards, and we get to blow up almost everything on his board except for Falco, which is a big problem because he has a Shekinaga in Grave. He plays pre-prep, and I recognize this is the deck that I discounted as bad two weeks ago. Apparently this deck has a pretty good Spiral Convulsions of Nature matchup, so be wary if you try to bring Spiral Convulsions to your next meta. This is like a battle of the bad TCG archetypes right now, and unfortunately I've lost. So we're back with the deck. I know this is already over 10 minutes because I can see the size of the files I'm saving. Uh, whatever. This deck was terrible. <laughs> it was really not good. The... Undines did not come up at all in the games I showed, but there were tons of other games where they just rotted in hand. There were tons of games where I drew Gen X controller and couldn't use them. Tons of games where I drew Dragoons. I cut it down to one because I kept drawing two, and if I draw it, you know, I'd like it at least to only be one dead card instead of two. Uh, the Summoner Monks were fine, but didn't really accomplish a whole lot for the deck. Uh, truthfully, the deck just relied too much on normal summoning, right? You have to normal summon Undyne, you have to normal summon Diviner, you have to normal summon Quick Fix. The only card you can special summon is Spiral Super Agent. You have to normal summon Summoner Monk, even. The Convulsions of Nature stuff was good when we had Convulsions of Nature, but what were we drawing into? More monsters we have to normal summon? Truthfully, the only really good cards in the deck were the Traps, the Mind Crushes were awesome, and the Quaking Mirror Forces were really good, but unfortunately, at some point you have to figure out a way to win the game. I mean, we have Synchros, but they're only in here because of Deep Sea Diva. Maybe there's some other Synchro shenanigans we can be doing? I don't know. The Slifer was funny, but also not very good. I just wish you could get better stuff off this without having to devote a whole bunch of main deck slots to it. At the end of the day, I don't know what you would change in this deck. I just think this probably isn't the right home for Spirals, probably isn't the right home for Convulsion of Nature, and it's certainly possible but that both archetypes are just pretty bad. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed me trying to play Miracles in Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope you enjoyed my imminent letter to Konami asking them to print Sensei's Divining Top. And most of all, I hope you just enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you give me a like, a comment, or a subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you would like to see a certain deck or strategy played next week, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to play whatever I feel like. See you Wednesday.